she's been feeling a little under the weather. Um, nothing to be concerned about, she says, until she lost her sense of taste and smell. I know. She went to go and get tested, and the email came through last night saying that she does indeed have COVID. Now, it has been a couple of days since she's uh, been experiencing any symptoms, almost a week since she first started experiencing symptoms, and already she feels like she's on the mend. At first, she was experiencing what felt like a mild flu, basically like a cold. And if this is all she experiences, then thankfully she is one of the lucky ones. But what about me? What about me? What about old Greg? What's gonna happen to me? <laughs> Yesterday, I got tested for COVID. And I come back as negative. But given the circumstances, I feel like it's inevitable that I'm gonna catch it. And when I do, I too wanna be one of the lucky ones. So... And yes, I know I suck at yoga, but that's not the point. I've got to strengthen my body right now before this attack on my immune system. yoga cut short. <laughs> right, I'm sure you guys are aware of the term cheat day. Like, Dwayne The Rock Johnson is famous for having every Sunday. Well, instead of cheat day once a week, I'm a firm believer that we should all take one day out of the week and dedicate it to doing the exact opposite of a cheat day. A day where you complete certain tasks which will guarantee a positive outcome for not only the body, but the mind. Let's all try to have what I like to call a beat day once a week. Or more. The more the merrier with a beat day. And I'm just thinking that it's important for me to keep up with these beat days until I have beaten COVID. Or at least to give myself the best fighting chance. Everyone's beat day can look different. This is just a video about my beat day. And now, I'm gonna do two things. It's also a vlog of what I get up to during self-isolation, but let's just get back to the video. Two interesting things at the same time. And that is red light therapy. And the Wim Hof breathing method. Now I won't be getting into the science behind red light therapy in this video, but if you want to know more about the Wim Hof method, just click on the link. Now, in order to beat my beat day's morning ritual, I have to beat this last hurdle. And let me tell you something, it is by far the hardest one. They're all quite pleasant up until this point, but uh, it has to be done. It might be tough, but it is one of the most beneficial. I am talking about cold exposure, cold shower, cold bath, ice bath if you're a badass, but either way, the benefits just outweigh the pain, so without further ado, I'll see you soon. With all that out of the way, let's finally go and enjoy the day. I know we're confined within these four walls, but that does not mean that we can't enjoy ourselves. And if you stick around, I'll show you the last couple of things that I do to complete my cheat day. Cheat day? Beat day. <laughs> There's only like two or three left, but they're important ones. Here comes a special delivery. My mother is arriving now with a big food shop. Ma! I've opened the back of the van, so just pop it in there. <laughs> Fun! Bye! <laughs> Vitamins. 
research says that some vitamins might help alleviate symptoms of COVID. So I'll be taking vitamin B12, vitamin D, and an advanced super mushroom complex with natural vitamin C to boost my immune system. And in case you're wondering, yes, Darby got something too. It is day three of self-isolation. Um, I've tried to get Rachel to give you guys a little bit of an insight of how she's feeling, but she just doesn't really want to be on film right now. No comment. Any other questions? I can assure you though, she's doing good, which is awesome. There's a few house chores that you can come and join me with, lucky you. There's a power line that's just snapped off in the middle of the night. In the back of the house, it's broken away from the building and the line is now drooping into next door's garden. So we have to fix that. We have to fix a door handle and also my garage is in a right mess. <laughs> so yeah, let's get busy. This little Volt pen is a must in anyone's tool bag. You take it first to a known electrical supply and the closer you get, it changes color from blue to red. Class. It could save your life one day. So uh, it could save my life today. Who knows? <laughs> Could you grab that screw and then put it on the end of my impact driver, please? There you go. Okay, two chores down. What next? The dreaded garage. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one. Right, so the plan is, we're gonna go in there, clean up. Oh, it's gonna take ages. But uh, at least I'll have my gym back because that, my friends, is a key component to beat day. Let's let's make it work guys. Let's let's get this gym back in my life. <laughs> or resistance training leads to muscle growth. You know, by tearing muscle fibers, they grow back bigger and stronger, blah, blah, blah. We get all this. But when you stop to think about the words resistance training, I believe the biggest resistance we face is getting up and doing these things. Even if it's just fighting the resistance to go for a walk. Whenever you overcome any resistance like this, your body will thank you and so will the mind. There's no doubt about it. I'm starving. Let's go for food. And we are vegans in this household, so that's not real meat. That's uh, pretend meat. It looks good though, doesn't it? it? Looks very good. But yeah, instead of you watching, me cook these meals. How about I teach you how to cook a little dish that me and Rachel have learnt lately? Yeah, check it out! 
Today we're gonna make a cauliflower and potato salad. This recipe video will literally take 60 seconds, so just stand by. And sorry for the cheesy music. Cheese. Here's the ingredients. Let's get started. First, boil your potatoes for around 25 minutes in salted water, drain and then leave them to cool slightly. Cut the cauliflower up into florets and cut the aubergine into cubes. Sauté some finely chopped garlic over a medium heat before adding your cauliflower and aubergine. Cook until golden brown. Now, take your coconut milk and your potatoes and fold them into the dish slowly. Add your seasoning. And by the time you have a little boogie, you're ready to serve. Enjoy! Good morning everyone. It is coming up to the end of our isolation. So this is probably the final update. Rachel's feeling good. Uh, she's pretty much recovered now, except for taste and smell, but she'll live. <laughs> I'm feeling good. I've been keeping up with these beat days and yeah, I'm just feeling really good. But you know what? It is coming to the end of our isolation. It's the weekend. It's a beautiful day out, so I think I'm giving myself permission to just let loose today and just unwind. Okay, as we are self-isolating, I thought what better time than now to get Xbox Game Pass and try and just uh, get back into playing some computer games. I've just downloaded this game, 12 minutes, and I challenge anyone to try and complete this game without any online help. Impossible. <laughs> Pry it open and find the pocket watch. You've done that. Open the door and head back into the living room. Talk to your wife and question her about the past. Hello, Greg. How are you, pal? <laughs> I'm doing all right. How are you, Keith? Watching uh, porridge for I am. Not bad. Self-isolating with Rachel, as you might know. <laughs> she was run down for about a week or so. You really chill, my love. Tell her to look after herself. Nah. It's always good to hear your voice. <laughs> and you, Dad Price, you look after yourself. <sighs> Hi. If you are still sticking around, thank you very much for watching this video. It's been interesting sharing a little bit about my life during lockdown with you guys and I think I will wrap up this video with the last thing that I like to do during my beat day which is journaling. You can write anything you want in these things but for me right now I'm focusing more on a gratitude journal. At the end of the night I like to write three things that I am grateful for. It's that simple. So where do I start? Well, first of all, I'm pretty damn grateful that Rachel and I haven't been badly affected by COVID. She's safe, I'm safe, and that's huge. The way I see it, the most valuable wealth on this entire planet is health. It's good to remind yourself of this from time to time. What else? Um, well, I guess I'm lucky to have amazing people in my life. From my supporting family, all the friends that I've met throughout my entire life, my beautiful girlfriend, and obviously Dobby. Let's not forget about that furry little ball of happiness. <laughs> okay, so last thing. I often think about how grateful I am to be able to make these silly videos. 
People might not particularly understand why I do it, and that's fine. We all enjoy doing different things in our spare time, and for me, I combine being creative and making memories. Two very important things for me. So I guess I'm just super thankful to have found any kind of passion again because I've been lost a few times in my life where I didn't have any ambition, no plans, no drive, no passion. And no one should spend too much time in that place. Now without rambling on too much, I guess I'm thankful for a lot of things. But for now, let's end by saying I am thankful to anyone watching this video of mine. If I can entertain or even inspire during this messed up time, then that means a lot. Peace out everyone, big love.